Hey guys, Mike here with another video. I know it's been a while and I apologize for that, but I promise to get them out more frequently, uh, hopefully sooner than later. Anyway, today we got a Samsung 830 series SSD. This is a 64 gigabyte version. And today we're just going to be doing a quick unboxing. And then I'm going to install this into my Lano A8 3870K system along with my operating system drive, my Corsair Force 3 60 gigabyte version drive. We're going to be doing benchmarks on both drives and comparing the performance of the two. And then at the end, uh, I'll let you know what I think of the Samsung drive. And uh, yeah, it's just going to be a quick video, so let me go ahead and pull this out the box so you can get a look at it. Let's see what comes in the box. So we get a quick user manual in English, something else, something else, and something else that I can't read. Maybe you can. Anyway, we get a disc. Comes with interactive manual, magician software, SSD manuals. And we got the SSD itself. Pull it out of here. Like I said, this is the 64 gigabyte version. You could tell by the stamp in the bottom left corner of the drive. And you could, I don't know if you could see, but it's kind of like a brushed aluminum there, real nice and sleek. And I didn't mention, but this is a SATA 6 gigabit per second drive. SATA 3 revision, 6 gigabit per second, 2.5 inch form factor. Same with the Corsair drive. I think, uh, I'm pretty sure all SSDs, SATA SSDs at least, are 2.5 inch. So I'm going to go ahead and install both of these drives into my Lano system and we'll pull up some benchmarks. We'll compare the results. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll get back with you in a second. Alright guys, so as you can see, we have both the SSDs installed. Samsung right here, Corsair right here, and this is my hard drive, 750 gigabyte hard drive. It's in the way. Anyway, we got it all installed, set up, and Windows, everything's working fine, and I already ran all the benchmarks for you. So, up top on the left over here right here this benchmark is for the Corsair SSD in AHCI mode and this is for the Samsung in AHCI mode down below on the left we'll start over here again is IDE mode this is the Samsung this is the I mean I'm sorry this is the Corsair this is the Samsung SSD so we got AHCI mode up top, IDE mode on the bottom, Samsung on the right, Corsair on the left. Alright, so we'll start with the Samsung and in IDE mode. You can see the numbers here. And you can see with the Addo benchmark that the write speeds stop at 150 megabyte, 175 megabytes per second. Now I know Addo isn't that great of a benchmark to use for SSDs, and I agree with that. Um, but as you can see in the Crystal Disk Mark, you know, we got some pretty nice numbers. Now if we move up to AHCI mode, and we compare the two, you can see the um, some of the write speeds, or actually, let's see, um, the read speeds for the sequential went up about 35 megabytes per second. The 5, 512K test went up about 115 megabytes per second. 4K didn't really go up on the read um, and it looks like the write went down on the 512K. Um, on the 4K nothing really changed. Uh, the write went up about 15 points on the AHCI mode. Um, now, if you get to, you go to the 4K QDepth 32, we could see that read speeds dramatically increased 
from 23.97 megabytes per second to 207.8 megabytes per second. So that just goes to show the performance difference in the different modes. If you have an SSD, you always want to run an H AHCI mode. Now over here we have the Corsair SSD. Um, and on the Addo benchmark it shows some pretty nice numbers. Um, in the AHCI mode it shows uh, reads getting up to about 550 megabytes per second and writes getting up to 450 megabytes per second. On the Samsung, again, like in IDE mode, it stops at 175 megabytes per second for the write. And this is just with the Addo benchmark. Um, now, if you compare the Crystal Disk mark of these two, the Samsung and the Corsair, we could see some big number differences. The Samsung SSD just blows it away. So, you can see the numbers here. Let me uh, zoom out real quick here so you can pause it if you want to check it out. Look more detail into the numbers. Anyway, I'm going to get to the conclusion and let you know what I think. Alright guys, so we went over the Samsung 830 series SSD along with the Corsair Force 3 SSD. Both drives are 6 gigabit per second SATA. Um, and you've seen the benchmarks, you've seen the numbers, you've seen that the Crystal Disk Mark benchmark favored the Samsung drive while the Addo benchmark favored the Corsair drive. You can make your own decision based on the numbers if you want. Personally, the Samsung drive is way better than the Corsair drive. That's just what I think personally. I think the real world performance of the Samsung drive is unbelievable. The reliability of this drive is amazing. This drive is just an all-around good SSD, and I'd recommend it to anyone looking to buy a solid-state drive. So there you have it. Um, this is not mine. I'm going to be putting this in a 2500K build that I'm going to be doing videos of in the not-too-distant future, as well as videos on my Lano A83870K system. So keep an eye out for them. Uh, let me know what you think about these two SSDs, which one you favor. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching the videos. And I'll see you next time.